It's not okay to be fat. It's true. It's not okay to be fat, and no one has any excuse for it. A lot of people who remember me from six months ago and the other Indefensible Paul Bazile videos or who've seen videos of my speeches are probably thinking to yourself, oh, there's a lot less of Paul these days, and there sure are. There sure is. I'm down about 60 pounds, and I'm not here to lecture you. I'm here to brag just a little bit. But I'm going to tell you exactly what I was thinking, why I was thinking it, and what you could do if you're a fat piece of shit the way I was, and in many ways still am. Now, Milo put me in a new position. I was writing for Dangerous.com, and he said, I need you to start doing more video editing, and you have hard deadlines, and you have this, and you have that, and this was about last January. So I said, okay, cool, I could do that. So I was doing what I've been trained to do, which is be a, a film editor, producer, director, and things of that ilk. And I started noticing something about myself. I started noticing I was tired all the time. I was getting winded editing, which is crazy. It's like I'm typing on a computer on Premiere, and I'm getting like... Whew, man, after like two hours, like, oh, I don't want to do this. And I used to marathon edit back in the day. I would, I would do 10-hour sessions if I had to. So I said, all right, I, I got I to do something here. And I've lost tons of weight before and gained tons of weight before. And uh, last time I gained a bunch of weight was right before I really started getting into all the political stuff. I was still doing more like... Um, uh, music type journalism and documentaries and I was working on um, my motorcycle movie that I'm still trying to work on uh, and I got into a bad car accident and messed my back up and around that time I was playing hockey three times a week I was lifting weights I was doing a hundred push-ups a day I was eating right and I was feeling really good about myself and literally the doctor was like you have to stop doing all this at once and somehow that translated into my head as you have to eat Ben and Jerry's every day because I it, like literally what went through my head was like, well, what the fuck's the point? What the fuck's the point? Like every time I try to like do something good for myself, I get like some setback where somebody's like, no, stop working out. You, 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 you know, and I'm like, I just got into this routine where I'm doing 100 pushups a day. I'm like a fucking Marine. This is great. I'm getting all buff. I'm getting great. And they're like, no, 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 no. stop lifting the weights. You cannot play hockey. And uh, I said, okay, well, I'm still going to do push-ups. And they're like, don't do that. You're, you're wrecking your back. Your back can't handle it. So you have to really spend some time to let this heal. So I ended up putting on a ton of weight. And in January, when I weighed myself, I was 235 pounds. The heaviest I've ever been is 240. And I went, oh, man, I got to get down to like, uh, to like 200. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll get down to like 200. But first, let me start, you know, it was stupid, simple things. Like, let me start taking my vitamins again. So I started taking vitamins, which I just stopped doing at some point. It was like, ah, who gives a shit if, I, if I'm on the right supplements and vitamins and shit like that. So I, I stopped taking vitamins. So I started taking those again. Then I was like, well, what's the point of doing this if I'm going to eat ice cream later? It's like, okay, so I got to stop doing that. Now, I'm going to recommend a book as a launching pad and starting point for anyone who's like, I'm a fat piece of shit or I'm tired. I have no energy. My sleep is all fucked up. Whatever it is, it's called The 4-Hour Body by Timothy Ferris. Guy's a fucking genius because he's not really a diet guy. He's a data collections guy. Uh, his more popular book is The 4-Hour Workweek. And what I learned about whether you want to lose weight or just improve yourself physically, and by the way, by improving yourself physically, it's fucking cliche, but you get your fucking head right. And my head wasn't right. My head really wasn't right. Like I, I had the knowledge in it to do everything I was supposed to be able to do, but I wasn't doing it the way I should have been doing it. So I said, okay. And this book, I, by the way, I read this book like six years ago. And the first time I did it, I dropped like 60 pounds. And I was like, shit, like th this works. And I was getting into good shape. And then I, I, something happened in my life and I fucking fell out of it. Once again, another one of those moments where I went, well, what's the point? What's the point? What's the point? And fuck it. I'm just going to eat what I want. I'm not going to work out. I I'm tired. I'm lazy. I'm whatever. I, <sighs> the funny thing is it's never really been about, about my looks. I've never really been like, Oh my God, I'm, I'm fat and I, I don't look good or anything like that. I never thought that 
because I never had problems really like getting girls or something when, when I was heavy. I always actually had the hottest girlfriends I ever had when I, w when I was heavy. And it's so funny because I've really been paying attention to it this time around. I've dropped a ton of weight like three or four times in my life. And it's all about organ organizing your life and organization in your life and, and, and what you do every day. And it's stupid little things. So here's the, you know, if you don't want to read the, the uh, entire Tim Ferriss book, which I do recommend that you do, here is the abridged version of exactly what I do. I eat nothing but meat and veggies six days a week, and on the seventh day, I eat whatever the fuck I want. That's it. So I really didn't give up anything. I didn't give up cheeseburgers. I didn't give up pizza. I didn't give up food that I actually like. And dude, I mean, you, you give me a town, I'll tell you what the best pizza place in that town is. I'll tell you what the best burger in the region, it, well, whatever it is. And if I travel, I find it. It's like, what's this place famous for? Uh, ribs? Let's find the best rib place. Who, who's always on the food network? Who's always doing this? Who's always doing that? Let's go eat there and see what the fuck is up. And people who travel with me know that I fucking do this. So I literally just went, okay, let's start managing your life. Dumb stuff like get up early. Get up early. Why are you getting up early? Because you have shit to do. I have to take my vitamins. I have to eat breakfast. Um, what do you have for breakfast? Spinach, eggs, and bacon every fucking day. Meat and veggies. Just stop eating fucking starches six days a week. And by the way, this isn't for everybody. If you're uh, if, if you're already skinny and you're trying to put on weight and be a bodybuilder, yeah, eat your potatoes, have some brown rice, have whatever the fuck eating clean is to you. But if you want to drop fat from your body, stop eating that shit six days a week. On the seventh day, you're going to have cake, soda, pizza, burgers, hot dogs, and whatever the fuck else you want. But I started looking on YouTube because I realized, oh shit, I live in 2019 and anything I want to see is on fucking YouTube. If I want to learn something, it's on YouTube. I started getting Gordon Ramsay steak recipes, Emeril Lagasse rib recipes, and I started cooking this shit every day for myself and packing it away and going, all right, I got my ribs and my steak and my lemon chicken and whatever. And then just what adding a veggie. Yeah, okay. I got broccoli. I got carrots. You know, I buy jars of pickles and just have jars of pickles and stuff like that. And I started dropping uh, fat. And then about five, six months in, I started working out again. And I started realizing, I don't know really how to work out. I never had a personal trainer. Like, I've worked out. But it's always been like, I think this is what I should be doing on the same day and this and that. And I started uh, watching videos by Athlete X. I uh, started, I'm a big wrestling fan. And I started following, like, The Rock. And uh, I have to give huge credit to... Tommaso Ciampa of NXT on his Instagram. He's always posting workout videos because he's recovering from neck surgery. And I started looking going, oh, he does this. Oh, he does this. Then looking up videos that were just like, what are the two bicep exercises I should do? What are the two exercises for my, for my traps that I should do? And work it into a routine where I did upper body and legs once or twice a week. And then I did, or I'm sorry, I did legs and abs once or twice a week. And then I was like, okay, now I'm gonna do, you know, chest, shoulders, biceps, tri triceps, uh, uh, twice a week. So tried to get in four workouts a week. Sometimes I did three, sometimes I did two. This week I've actually done three, but I had to divide my upper body workout just because my, my schedule's been crazy. Um, and I also combined from the great Joe Rogan, intermittent fasting, I decided, fuck it, I'm just gonna try it. So I only eat between six and eight hours a day, six days a week. And again, on the seventh day, I do whatever the fuck I want. Um, part of this is regulated my sleep. You have to get actual sleep at night. Uh, you have to do all this. Why? Cause you need to be better. You need to be a better human being. I mean. We talk a lot about politics and indefensible Paul Zeal has a lot to do about culture and politics, and this is culture. And we shouldn't have a lazy, I play video games all day culture. We shouldn't be encouraging a lazy, I sit on my fucking ass and sit on my couch all day type culture. We should be trying to be the example we want to set. I mean, as far as the, the I, when I say that, I don't just, I don't mean conservatives. I don't mean liberals. I mean Americans. I mean, you should be a good person. 
You should be the person doing real shit in your life. And now it's actually easier than ever. And I know I'm making it sound easy. Organize your life, have a schedule, know what you're going to eat and when you're going to eat it, man. At this point, I eat twice a day. I eat twice a day. I have breakfast at around noon. I make my eggs and bacon. I get up earlier, but I have eggs and bacon around noon. And then I have fucking, you know, chicken or whatever, spinach and fucking steak and whatever. And then on Sunday, I get to eat whatever the fuck I want. And that's the point. You don't want to deprive yourself. You don't want to feel like you missed out on everything. You don't want to feel like, oh my God, I have to just suffer through this. It's not the point. The point is you have no excuse. You have no excuse to be fat in 2019 with all the videos and books and this and that. And everyone will tell you a different way to do it. And I'm telling you the simplest way to do it. And if you're a fat guy, if you're really fucking overweight, I'm, I'm 180 right now. I haven't been 180 since like fucking middle school. Meh, no, actually, I was 180 about seven years ago, but not for very long. And I didn't feel like when I did it, I was like, okay, am I done with this yet? I don't feel that way anymore because I'm in a better mindset because I'm better organized. And that's what you have to be. And guess what? Once you get that shit under control and just try it, just be like, I'm doing nothing but meat and veggies because I'm fucking 50 pounds overweight, 100 pounds overweight. Just try it. And then on Sunday, eat whatever the fuck you want. Get some supplements. Figure it out. If you want, comment. And I'll tell you uh, exactly what what I do. And I'll and write me, message me, and I will absolutely break it down for you if you're also having fucking problems with this. Because I have never made fun of people for trying to improve their fucking life. I have never been like, oh, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> Look, he's trying to diet. He's fucking up. No, man. Try and do anything. Try and do anything. The problem isn't what you're doing or not doing. The problem is organizing yourself. And by organizing yourself, you get that inherent discipline inside yourself and be a better person. And when you're a better person, whatever your opinion is, all the stuff that's in here, you could start changing the culture, which is what we ultimately want to do. We want to change the culture and not be fat and lazy. We don't want to be the stupid culture and we're not. And we're going to prove that to people. And unfortunately, a lot of us are fucking infected with a lot of bad ideas. So we don't want those bad ideas anymore. And from now on, we are going to go forward and organize ourselves better. Organize our own lives. And when you do that, you could start organizing everything externally better. You could have a routine that you do. And all of a sudden now, everything comes to you. Everything gets better in your own life. And that's ultimately what's going to lead to things getting better in the bigger world once you set it up in the smaller world. And... Dude, I mean, like I said, I'm, what, 55 pounds down now. Um, it's been nine months. It's pretty fucking good. I'm also working out as much as I can. You should too, even if it means working out once a week. Even if it means doing just a little something for yourself and working it into a routine. Every Monday I do this. Every day I wake up at this time. Every day I do this. And once you do that, suddenly you'll realize, holy shit, I had so much more potential when I wasn't wasting my time being a fat, lazy bastard. Fat is not beautiful. Being overweight and dying of fucking diabetes and heart problems and strokes is not beautiful. It shouldn't be celebrated. It shouldn't be something we just all accept. It should be something, hey... It should be something that we absolutely abhor and go, man, what's wrong with this fucking guy? Oh, you don't have your fucking shit together. You're not organized. You're stressed out. Why are you all stressed out that you're stress eating all the time? Is it because you don't fucking know how to organize your life? Because at the end of the day, to me, that's what it boiled down for. And I think it could work for other people too. Being that, I've gotten like three different people who are like, how did you lose so much weight? How did you? I go, dude, if you do this... Try for a month, see what happens. And I swear to God, I've had people being like, in the first week, I lost 10 pounds of weight. Yeah, it's water weight. But still, it's like, oh, you lost 10 pounds doing exactly what I said. Oh, that's interesting. Now add this. Now start doing this. And all of a sudden now, it's like, not a big deal. It's just who the fuck you are. And fucking, you're learning about it. And you could learn about it any way you want to learn about it. Because there's really not one right or wrong way. If you go, I want to do CrossFit fucking six days a week and you think you could do that and keep up with it, just be realistic and go, uh, okay, cool, dude, it's not gonna hurt, do that. If you go, dude, maybe I could lift weights once or twice a week, maybe I could walk for like a half hour twice a week, then do all that. Because guess what, it's gonna be helpful, it's gonna make you a better fucking person at the end of the day, because I feel like it's made me a better fucking person. 
I feel like it's cleared my head out a whole lot, and it feel like it made me ready to come back and start doing videos again. And the fucked up thing, the fucked up thing, when I look at pictures of myself from nine months ago, a year ago, pictures that when they were taken, I went, man, I look pretty fucking good in that picture. I'm like, look at this fat, bloated fucking asshole that I was. And I thought that I looked fucking good. I thought that I was doing great and killing it. And in my head now, I'm looking like, who the fuck would take me seriously? I'm fat and I don't have my fucking shit together. And now I feel like I'm better, man. I feel like everything's gotten better and I have more energy. I sleep fucking better. And I want everyone, everyone, to do it too. It's not a political thing. To me, that is part of a cultural thing, is being truly healthy inside and out. And it starts with yourself and it starts with your fucking body. And you could fucking do it because I did it and I'm not fucking special. And I'm doing it by doing the least amount of shit that I could possibly do to get myself healthy. And just doing that little bit has worked. And I appreciate you watching. So do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel which you could click on the button below, I suppose. Follow me on Instagram, indefensible, Paul Bazile, P-A-W-L-B-A-Z-I-L-E, and check me out on Counterculture TV, counterculturetv.com. Thank you once again for tuning in. Ah, ha, ha. ever get the feeling you've been cheated? <laughs>